What's going on, guys? My name is NoJ456, and today I definitely didn't forget to record the intro to this video because I'm gonna go DJ in Vegas. Today, we're gonna be reacting to the world record run of Guard Crovey, but we're gonna be in a Discord call with the speedrunner Freckleston. Make sure you check out his stuff with the links in the description below. And without further ado, let's see what's going through the mind of a speedrunner when they get the world record on Guard Crovey. Here we go. We are sat down with Freckleston, and I immediately off the bat, I ask this every single time we do one of these speedrun explain videos. How many attempts did it take you to get this world record, and how long have you been trying this stint just to open everything up? Wow, so this one's weird because I haven't played GK in like, I want to say like six months. Like, I just haven't touched it. I've been doing other things. And I just randomly thought, you know, vibes are on for GK today. I thought I'd hop on for a couple of hours. And I just got this like amazing run. And I think this was two hours into stream. So it was like a two hour session. So two hours um, after not playing six months, you got the world record for GK, which has not been broken in like how long? I, I know I might be a few months ago. So, you know, I was just trying to get my record back. <laughs> uh, I just thought, you know, vibes are on today. Are I'm you really guys friends with I each other? <laughs> Me and iMac? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're close. Uh, we're good friends. Uh, do, do you guys get, like, what, what is the reaction when you break each other's world records? Like, when you break the news that, yo, I just beat your record, what is the reaction? Well, so we do them all on stream, so we're all sort of, like, there for it, do you know what I mean? Well, but was, it's more was of iMac like, here uh, for this one? I, I think he... I think he pops in partway through the run, but I know he, he's at work when I stream, so... Uh, I see, I uh, see. Uh, but yeah, it's always like a, you know, GG's, you know, good job kind of thing. It's never like, you know, oh, no one's salty that, about that's anything. That's nice. I'd, you know? be, I'd be mega salty. I'd be so <laughs> mad, dude. I'm just kidding. Okay, okay. So so the overall, though, your your splits here have 7,495. And I can assume that yeah. that is the amount of runs it has taken you on GK overall to get this overall, record. Overall, yeah. So what what's weird is I used to have a thirty three forty three. That was my old record on this uh, right. before I might beat it. Um, and I was grinding for a sub thirty three for thousands of attempts. That's why it's so weird because thousands of attempts I put into this and I just couldn't get it. Like I couldn't even PB. I couldn't get anything. And then I just randomly hop on on this one day and just get a game. <laughs> okay. So like the start of this run is already insane by the way because I get a really fast first cylinder. I get a really fast second cylinder and the actual location of the groff pods are like perfect like the infirmary groff pod which i got first is like really really fast uh -huh. and then the second best one that i can get is this one at armory so i basically have a perfect start right now so so how many runs die bef at this point like you've done your first two pods and like the run's dead it's over like so many because you you've got to get that not only have you got to get the actual cylinder for the groff pod, which is like, I think it's like a 10% chance per kill to get it. And you could literally just spend the entire round killing the whole round and just uh, not get it. I forgot you. It's literally randomized on zombie kills too. So Complete, you, completely random. So you not and only got again, fast spawns, but you got the really good location. Oh my God. And you already got the third one. Second kill. <laughs> exactly. Second kill. And I'm like, usually, I think I'm usually placing this cylinder at around four minutes. Usually. And I'm at, what, 3.15 right now, which is nuts. Okay, so... Unfortunately, <laughs> no, I get it. the spawn groff. Oh, okay, so this is, spawn this is the worst one. is terrible. It's so bad. Like, I think I genuinely lose, like, 40 seconds to this. And I still get an insane first split as well. Oh, like, and you didn't have points to open that up yet? You had to, yeah. you had to go back for the zombie kill? So, over, yeah, so overall, kind of though, it. like, you're still on one of the best starts you've ever had, despite getting the spawn groff. Yeah. Yeah, no, this starts really good. I think my best ever first fly is a 425, and that can go lower. Like, the the actual RNG in the first part of this run is, like, kind of mad. Uh, but a 425 is really good. A sub-5 fly is, like, you're really good at that point. That's, that's, why, you're, that's why you're looking good. That's that's so funny. So so this is kind of like the Origins robot moment where completely RNG based, nothing you can do, only so well you can yeah. play. You just have to get yeah. good RNG and that's it. Yeah, I'm just waiting for spawns here. Just, and it, it's so far away as well from where I need to be. Like I could get a groff pod right here where I am now. Yeah, And yeah. that's just, that would be amazing. Like I think I would, I don't know what time I would have got. I might have been close to a sub four fly, which I 
didn't even think would be possible. But, which you know. which does put you below your 33 minute uh, goal. Oh yeah, easily. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what what at this point in the run are you doing? Because I I noticed you're like you're checking the um you're checking the locations the of the valves and everything like that. Yeah. What all are you like kind of like pre setting up for yourself aside from just doing the graph modules at this That's point? So um. So basically, I'm just cycling my gums to try and get to an ABH so I can just teleport back from the hatchery. And oh, I'm noting down that. all of my valves that are in my way. So I usually get the dragon one, the armory one, and the supply depot one. Yeah. And I have a spreadsheet that I can just note down what they are into, mm -hmm. um, which I usually just do while I'm flying here, so I don't have to like pause and whatnot and think about things. And that, obviously, I'll use those for later. Yeah, yeah. Um, so so, and then the other thing is just grabbing any trophies that are in my way. Yeah, so like turning on the trap at Supply Depot to get that one. Uh, the one outside of Dragon Command, what, you know, the one that you shoot off the wall. I'm just mm -hmm. grabbing things like that. Yeah, just just doing the doing the collectathon that is this map at, at the beginning. Exactly. That's all it is. Half of the egg is literally collecting all the trophies, and then the other half of the egg is doing the challenges. So yeah, so yeah, that, that's all I'm doing. I'm, I'm really excited to see how you do some of these challenges because the challenges themselves, for I, I feel like for unskilled players or people who just haven't practiced this map a lot, uh, is the hardest part about this Easter egg. It's what makes it one yeah. of the hardest Easter eggs because no matter like how many times you do it, you're not guaranteed to pass. Each one is a skill check that almost gets harder exactly. every single time because like High the around. rounds just go up and up and up, yeah. which is why I feel like GK is one of the lowest completion rate Easter eggs in all of BO3. I feel like if you don't understand it properly, people really struggle on the Mangler step because it's really easy because you can actually hear where he spawns. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Mark III pull there was amazing. <laughs> yeah. But you can actually hear where he spawns and then just shoot his arm off and yeah. he'll just run after you. It makes it really easy. Yeah, the optimization on Gobblegums definitely helps keep the uh, keep the round here. And I'm going to assume the big strategy on this map is to use an undead man walking Gobblegum for some of these steps. Knowing that you are literally speedrunning, I'm going to assume you're not using the undead man walking <laughs> Gobblegum. <laughs> no, that, that would slow things down. Yeah. Uh, so we don't do it. The dragon fire here, by the way, is one of the biggest run killers. Like, I don't know if you noticed, but when I got up here, uh -huh. the dragon didn't breathe fire straight away. So that's already time loss against what I can get. He came around the second time, which is really good still. Um, so now I'm literally just ending the round to, uh, to uh, be able to pick up my dragon egg again. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to need another dragon fire. Yeah. So so are these completely uh, RNG? Are the dragon? I've always actually wondered because... It's, it's a really like frustrating part of this Easter egg, just waiting for the it dragon is. to breathe fire. Is there anything you can do at all to like force him to do the dragon fire, or is it complete RNG? It, it's absolutely just out of your control. I, I think it's like a, it's about a 30% chance, I think it is, or like a one in three, that sort of area for him to breathe fire. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, you, you just gotta wait and just see. You can actually see when he's turning and when he's coming to Spitfire because he does like a different animation. So that's what I'm looking out for whenever I'm looking at the dragon. So like right then when he flew over, I uh -huh. sort of looked at him and saw he isn't going to spit. Um, and I'll do the same here as well. So the dragon's going to fly over. I'm looking for him to whip right, but he doesn't do that. So I know he's not going to breathe fire. So you're, you're just using this opportunity because you're going to need to progress the round anyway. You're just using this opportunity to, to kill zombies and get everything going yeah, in that on. direction. So I actually yeah, I want to I want to thin the round out as much as possible. Yeah. So so actually right now are, have you experienced any time loss on this step because the you have to end the round anyway at this point? Uh yes, like basically no matter how fast I get my dragon fire here for my napalm kills, I always always make sure that I thin the round out so that the round then after that will be a lot faster because you can really lose a lot of time from it. Right. Um. So you notice I'm just killing pretty much anything that I see. So there's probably like I don't know five zombies left in the round after I got my dragon fire here. And and that that's to just get set up for the next step, right? Which is what exactly. Yeah, it's all, it's all about completing the egg. Like, a lot of the sort of things that we're doing in this Easter egg is just waiting for the dragon egg to be finished so that we can get the specialist weapon and get that last trophy. Yeah, so, so you can start the challenges. What I'm doing there is just getting my napalm kills so that I can go and do the lockdown and finish the rest the rest of the challenges in the lockdown. And then I, I can see. just do the egg incubation immediately after. So, wait, do you have the egg in your inventory right now? I completely missed it. I, 
I, I, yeah, I pick it up at infirmary, get the napalm kills at tank factory, and then I fly over here to do the lockdown. Okay. Is there, okay, hold on. For this lockdown, obviously, like, when I think about GK, this is the one thing I, I feel like everyone's game, it goes the exact same because there's, like, is there any way to speed this up at all, or is this just a set amount of time? So I use nukes to make it as fast as possible, but I've always got to wait for, you know, the last zombies to spawn in in order to actually end the phase um but using nukes to kill everything will make it as fast as possible um okay. i usually take about four minutes from uh the second i step on the dragon to start the egg incubation after it uh, so it takes a bit of time but it's quite a fun step so i don't really mind doing it but you actually but so it actually can be completed faster i always thought it was like a timed thing <clears throat> uh, you, you just have to kill everything as fast as possible. That's all it is. Oh, so th so there's a set amount of zombie spawns, and once you kill all those spawns, then you're then you're done. Yeah, that's that's how it works. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right. So so is there anything else that you can like? Is, I forget. Is there a gobble gum machine in this area that you can use? There is. Yeah, it's so useful. It's so good. Like the gobble gum machines on this map are so useful. They're just put in the perfect places for everything you need. Oh, I, I wanted to ask, uh, just because uh, we have we have a few minutes here during this little lockdown, what is your opinion on gobblegums? As a speedrunner, I am always interested what people it's actually so think so about them and if it differs from like the community perception of them. I think it's weird because I think it... Because obviously BO4 has elixirs and things like that, but I honestly think it depends on like the game because... On BO3, I really like the flow of gameplay with Gobblegums and speedrunning. I don't really like sort of like classics and no gums. I don't like the flow of gameplay with that. Whereas yeah. if I go and play Black Ops 4, I absolutely hate using the Megas in that game because it's just not fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Whereas using classics in Black Ops 4 just works perfectly. Uh, so it's really weird. I really like Gobblegums, um, although they can be quite annoying. <laughs> so I, but yeah, I, I, I don't I, mind them. Yeah, I, I feel like they add, actually, in my opinion anyway, I feel like they add a lot to gameplay and, like, ways to play, like, variety, everything like yeah. that. I think the main, the main issue I have with them is, like, I, I think almost they should be just way cheaper and easier to get because if you're doing I this agree. without mods, it is, like, you've already spent technically, like, a good amount of money already in this game. What? Why yeah. is it, also, why was that Mangler just tanking shots and not? <laughs> <laughs> he was just taking the shield blast. That was doing my last egg challenge, by the way. I did the penetration kills on the uh, machine gun turret upstairs. Oh. Um, for some reason, if you use the machine gun turret upstairs, one kill on any zombie just counts as a penetration kill. And I don't know why, but it does. Wait. And then we can just use the, the shield for the melee kills. Even the shield blast count as a melee kill as well. Wow, that is incredible. That is, I know, well, it that, it that, that's so the biggest easier. trick I think I've learned about this map so far. That is crazy. So you literally can so just hop on after the turret lockdown, and I can just do this. Exactly, yeah. That's why we need to do the napalm kills beforehand, because I can finish all the other challenges in the lockdown so that I can do this afterwards. I can't do the napalm kills in you know in the lockdown, so Right, right, right. Don't have the dragon fire there. That's that is yeah. crazy. So you're saving this guy right here to turn on the little machine after, right? I am, yeah. Yeah. It's it's all nicely routed, isn't it? It's just like do one thing onto the next sort of thing. Like, I don't know, it's nice. Dude, this this Easter egg seems like a really satisfying one to speed run. Like I, I know the RNG off the dragon command must be really yeah. annoying, but I feel like after you get past that point, everything since then has been pretty like standard. Yeah, but, I, like, I do like it's this been one. fun. It's pretty fun. Oh, yeah, I, I say it's been fun as I'm like watching a perfect <laughs> run like it. <laughs> oh yeah, this one's so good. I'm so happy with this run. <laughs> All right, so you're, you're shooting that for the, the toilet. Back. Yeah, you got to do it at least once, right? So are you going to yeah. anywhere but here every single other exit of this area? If I can, yes, uh, because I go back here in a couple of minutes to go and get the eggs. I have to flip two rounds here. Obviously, I've already thinned my round out from before I flew, so the round ends really fast there. So that's one round end done. I need to do another one, but during this next round end, I'll do all the valves, and here uh, I'm going to like see where the green light is in the best spot of course <laughs> yeah okay real um, quick as you're, as you're paused um just confirm this for everyone because i actually get like a crazy amount of comments that say this pausing is allowed in speedrunning 
right? It like, is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and it, it pauses time. your time. It's it's in game time. You're allowed to pause as much as you want. It, if, there, I don't know what the why the notion came out. Everybody like in my comment section thinks pausing is cheating. I'm like, no. It, it's a hot take. It is. It's it's a bit of a debate at the moment. Really? Um, is it? People are. I think there's been big calls for uh, there to be like no pausing recently, um, and that's sort of the consensus. And uh, I don't know, people are really torn on it, and we can't really come to a conclusion apart from just keep it the same. But people do tend to look down on people who unnecessarily pause a lot. Yeah, um, like, I, I mean, I mean, let's say it, you're uh, doing a moon speed run and you're doing Simon Says, if you just repeatedly pause to remember it, that's like. Yeah, you, do you know what I mean? I, I feel like it takes a little bit of skill out. Like, sure, it's more impressive if agree, someone yeah. doesn't pause. But at the same time, like, how are you going to regulate, like, a pause? Like, it's exactly. so easy that, to just splice thing. it out. It's, oh, uh, dude, yeah, I, I, I don't see that ever, like, being something that's actually able to be enforced. Also, like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm definitely on the pauser side on this. And I'm not just saying that because I have a horrible memory and anytime I try to speedrun, I have to pause <laughs> sometimes to remember what I'm doing next. <laughs> yeah, I, I try not to pause much. Um, I think the runs where I do pause is GK because I pause for my valves quickly and I yeah. also do it to write down my bombs, which I'm fully, uh, I'm fully for just disallowing all of that. But, you know, as so long as it's allowed, you're I not going to throw abuse your it, run. You know what I mean? <laughs> you're exactly. not going to literally throw your run off of just forgetting where a bomb is. The yeah, so I... I I've obviously done my valves. Um, I use a spreadsheet. Uh, obviously, a lot of people use Chronorium.com. I, I have a spreadsheet which shows both solutions because uh -huh. there's actually two solutions for every set of valves. Oh, really? And, and it will tell me what the best one is, pretty much. Oh, that's uh, And sick. I can just do it that way. I, I, uh, so my valves this game were really good. I only had to change one, but it was at Tank Factory, which means I have to go out of my way to get it. Yeah, that's it. Dude, I, I remember back when we were like first solving the Easter egg for this map, Everyone else was like just get, guess basically just throwing in random stuff into all the valves in order to get it to work every game <laughs> And I just remember I spent so long and everyone was so mad at me They were like just just get to the next step just guess and check it But I, I spent so long actually just like trying to figure out how the valves worked it wasted so much time But I was like almost better than getting any sort of worlds first was just figuring out the valve step also amazing anywhere But here holy uh, moly ABH Absolutely perfect. Pick up that. And this is it. We're going on to challenges now. I think I watched a podcast from Milo, and they were talking about how they actually solved, like, how the first person solved GK valves. And they literally just had everyone stood at a valve, and everyone just spammed death until it worked. Yeah, oh, yeah. Dude, it, people were doing the most degenerate thing to get past this step, because it is a step you can, like, brute force your way past without knowing yeah. a single thing. But... It, yeah, I, I I literally remember everyone started doing that, and I was just like, no, I'm going to figure it out no matter what, and then just lost so much time. But it, it was worth it in the end when, you, when I actually figured out the solution. It was great. All right. This oh. is me changing a keybind, because the game, like, changes keybinds for me weirdly. I don't know why, but... Um, the, the, mine does that, but strange. with uh, sensitivity. <laughs> right. It just oh, changes yeah, sensitivity okay. randomly. This is how you do Mangler, by the way. Uh, so I have Mangler right now. So what I did is I walked out of Dragon Command when I heard the challenge. Uh -huh. And I heard the Mangler spawn. And all I do is run over to it because it can either be at tank or supply. Mine was at supply because I heard it in my left ear. Um, I just run over and shoot his shoulder joint. And as long as you stay somewhat close to him, he'll just run after you. And it's the easiest challenge ever. It's so good. Especially if you get it first like that. That's so good. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I knew about the arm shooting off technique, but I, I had always thought you have to be at a certain round so you don't just kill him because he's like a round nine mangler. It's like kind of Yeah, weak. I'd be careful doing it with a pack-a-punch weapon. Yeah, yeah, uh, I think that's what it is. Usually by this point, I'm like, okay, I'm all pack-a-punched up. I'm ready for this step. And then I just insta-kill exactly. him if I try to shoot his arm off. It is definitely the most annoying one to like get wrong. I think my least favorite one on average overall is the... Um, is the uh what's it called um uh the electric guy what, what are they called valkyrie yeah. the valkyrie one yeah. is like oh it's so fr oh i hate it so much because you can actually acc accidentally shoot the valkyrie as well but if i can button this yeah. is like the biggest like when you start challenges this is what you're looking for right here your growth module can drop either here tank uh. or at supply 
and Dragon is like significantly faster than the other two. Uh, yeah, obviously. If you get supply, <laughs> it's right if next you get to supply, it. it's like over a minute time loss. It's so bad because not only have you got to get there and get back, the spawns there are just so 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 slow that you lose like over a minute compared to Dragon. So like. If I don't get Dragon there, the run is practically dead. And you might have heard me, like, pop it off because I've had challenge starts like this, like, 15 times. And I've had supply every time. That is <laughs> so crazy. I was, just, I was just elated. Yeah, so here's bombs. I'm, I'm going to pause to write them down. Yeah, yeah of course. I, I, You know, if I'm having this kind of luck, like, literally the first of its kind, based solely yeah. off luck... You bet I'm pausing and writing down the, the order of the bombs. <laughs> yeah, they, they do flash fast. Yeah. So this again, like your bomb order is going to be random. It's going to be RNG. Uh, I got really good bombs this game. Um, they're just all next to each other. So I think if I remember, I get like department first and then I have like infirmary and tank next to each other. Right. And then I get dragon and then supply and armory next to each other. So everything's just next to each other. Oh, I, I got it the wrong way around. I go armory supply first, but yeah, either way, same, everything's same just difference. next to each other. Don't have to run across the map multiple times. Uh, and, you know, all this time obviously adds up. Yeah, yeah. So, the like, obviously you just got your Origins Robot 1 and 3 chance moment of getting this. Can bombs ruin a run if you get a bad order? Or is it just like, if you're, if you're, really. to, if you're to this point, you have a good run no matter what? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. What you're looking for is that dragon groth. Uh, bombs can obviously save you time. You might lose a bit of time, but it's not that deep. You know, it's, it's not that, that much time loss or time gain, but it helps to get good bombs, you know? Yeah, obviously, every second counts. Are you, at this point, is the RNG done? Are you locked in for just, like, all you have to do is play well now, or is there any more big RNG moments that can ruin your run? So... I, I'll, I'm going to ABH two more times in this run, and obviously oh, yeah. there's better ABHs than bad ones. Uh, so that could go wrong. Uh, there's also... I do a quote skip at the end of the run, and there's a very small chance that Sophia can quote and ruin the quote skip, and I'll lose all my time and basically lose the run because of that. And that's right before the boss fight. <laughs> Um, so that could also go wrong. Is and then there's just a chance that I die in boss because, does you know, if Nikolai uses his mini guns on you, it's hard. Like it's not easy. Yeah, this this boss fight out of I think out of all of them is like the coolest visually. But I think this boss fight is like my least favorite in terms of the actual gameplay of it. I feel like yeah, it, I feel like Nikolai I is just it's totally really random. He he's so like overpowered. Like he has two attacks, which makes it really easy. I mean, he has one attack where if you don't run, you're probably dead. Like, it genuinely kills runs. Like, it, it is hard. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I remember I like when I was first trying to go for this Easter egg and like just doing it the couple days after the world's first has been achieved, people kept... I don't know if this is still an issue because I haven't played the map as much since then. Can Nikolai still kill you when he's friendly? Yes. To avoid that, you need Quick Revive. If you have Quick Revive, he won't do it. But Wait, if you don't what? have quick revive, you'll just die. Yeah, how it works. Oh, Wait, what do you mean? Like, as in you'll just revive yourself or he actually doesn't shoot no, you? No, he won't kill you. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. That is the weird... Is there an explanation for that? That is the weirdest glitch I've ever heard. No idea. I just know that's how it works. I don't know why it works. That is so random. I lose a lot of time here, by the way. <laughs> this is weird. Basically, whenever I go upstairs in the apartment with my Valkyrie, the uh -huh. round always ends. And I've, I, when I say always ends, I mean always. It's always, always ended. This game, it didn't, and I've never seen it before. So I just got loads of zombies in infirmary, and I can't really kill them without killing the drone or risking killing the drone. So I lose time, like, trying to get hold of them yeah, again yeah. and trying not to die. And then there's a little skip here as well. As soon as he turns the corner onto the stairs, just kill it, and the challenge will complete. Oh, really? Wait, that's sick. Yeah. Wait, so so does does doing the big orb of the Raygun Mark III, does that kill the Valkyrie as well? I need a first. Uh, you need to shoot like 50 of them at it to oh, kill okay. it, okay. so, so you, you're nice. safe. Yeah, yeah. I, I was, but if you, if you actually activate it by doing the right click as well, does that kill it? Yes. Okay, so that's why you that's weren't why I had to be careful. Yeah. yeah, makes sense. Oh my God. And then this is the last challenge, and this is oh, really scary, mm. because... It, 
I've trapped him in the courtyard, is what we call it. And for some reason, it's just GK being a broken map. If you trap him in the courtyard, there's a very small chance your game can just crash. Your oh. just connection interrupted. So to have this as my last challenge on this kind of pace, I was really scared of my game crashing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and as well as that, we do two quote skips. So I'm going to do one with my dragon strike right here. And that, that skips a quote. Uh, it skips my quote, so basically Gersh will go straight to Dragon Command. And then I'm going to do another quote skip by hitting the trap. And that saves probably, I want to say close to a minute just really? by doing both of them. It saves so much time doing both. Because the whole, like, Gersh screaming quote just doesn't happen. Oh, yeah, that, that one takes forever. <laughs> yeah, and the timing to hit these, uh, I think there's, like, I think it's, like, quarter of a second to half a second windows of, like, how much time you have to hit them. Yeah, so I can hear you, you freaking out flawless. in the background. <laughs> that is insane. And, and did someone, how did someone figure this out? Did they just, look, like, figure out, you know, the first time you hit this trap and whenever you call in your dragon strike, you get... Like it skips quotes. How did how was this figured out? I think someone skipped a quote by accident. This is like before my time, uh, but the way that I remember it is someone skipped a quote by accident, and then people just went around just trying loads of different things, seeing what you can skip, seeing what causes it, and things like that until we're where we are now. You can actually skip like most of the quotes on this map, but it's just really like because you're on solo, you're not really able to do it a lot of the time. Because oh, you see. do it by like hitting traps and things like that, and uh, but you know you're not you're not near traps to do it. Low. Yeah, you're so. not you're not everywhere at once. So th exactly. does, the, does the two player run for, or like the four player run for this use a lot more of those quote skips? Yeah, yeah, you you skip a lot more quotes on more players. Yeah. That's crazy, man. This, this is literally why I love like having. This. I would never ever realize that you were hitting that trap for a certain reason without like the explanation. That's this is why I love having speedrunners on and just like explain how it was going through your head and everything like that so this part yeah. right here is there any way to speed this up because this is the one that i always think of that's just like you're stuck doing this for a while no this is like the worst step you, you just run around in a circle for three minutes and um, i actually skip to the final phase uh towards the end of the download that way i get the key card the fastest possible time it's literally a matter of like half a second but you know i might as well take it <laughs> you've got nothing else to do you're stuck in this like unskippable area yeah pretty much i'm just running around in a circle not wait, doing anything wait so what 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 allows you to get it half a second faster the the key card out of the machine yeah yeah it comes out at the quickest possible time so it's just making sure that i'm as fast as possible I it's see. really the smallest thing but yeah you know Yeah, you're, and after this, it's just the boss fight. You're, you're, yeah, you're literally just waiting. So the dragon wings is. I saw you pick those up, and then you use the teleport yeah, to get here. Is there yeah. any you like? Do you actually think it's useful in the boss fight? I mean, obviously it's a little useful, but is it like a necessary no. for the boss fight, or is it really just you're picking them up to teleport here? It, it's fully to teleport here after your challenges. That's why we fly. So the first fly we do from supply, the second one from tank, and the third one from dragon. Uh huh. Um. And that's literally just to unlock the dragon wing so we can fast travel here later. Oh, I see. Um, so those those weren't necessarily the fastest ones, but overall they save time because you can do the... Yeah, yeah, 100%. If you want to get really cheeky, you actually just don't get wings at all. And you just start hitting ABHs to and from the hatchery all that, game. But that is... Okay. Like, <laughs> you are you've really got to be playing a cheater with to be doing that. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Because uh, you can... Can you ABH to the hatchery? You can, yeah, there's one there. That's crazy. So there's Here Q I get this, which is Literally, incredible. Okay, you're cheating. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've never had this in a run, so I was like, oh my god. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is crazy RNG. That's so sick. I love that you came back on after not playing this for six months and got this run. I love that you remember how to play this map. Like... Your first run on after six months, are you immediately remembering how to do everything? I, I sort of needed like the first hour to de-rust a bit, but um, I'll be completely honest. Had I have maybe been playing this, you know, 
uh, more actively, I probably would have got a 32, just, you know, cutting out the little mistakes here and there. You know, it's just a little bits of time save. Mm -hmm. um, so obviously I'm not fully de-rusted, but I played pretty well and did what I needed to do. So I, I am I am happy with this. Yeah, world record. That's all right. You know, it's uh, <laughs> it could, could be better. So are you just using uh, Reagan Mark III for boss fight? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm assuming as you didn't pack a bunch of anything. Wait, so I... So, I so here's, here's another quote skip, by the way. I'm going to hit the trap here and skip the whole Sophia sequence. Oh, wow, that's great. Because so, like, the thing just flies away and I just go straight in. No, <laughs> none, of the, none of all them quotes. And I'm assuming uh, you have played this a lot more, so you know. Have uh, have they fixed... They've fully fixed the death barrier that was there, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's fully fixed. <laughs> okay. I just... All I can remember from this map was the death barrier that was there just, like, killed so many people's first ever attempts. It, it, it was a menace on this map. This is the one, eh? Yeah, this boss fight's scary. Yeah, because the dude can one shot Always you. Always scary. Yeah, you'll never you'll never done until you're done on this map. Yeah, which wait, wait, hey it keeps it interesting for you and for everyone else, right? Oh, 100 percent. Like I'm what <laughs> 53 seconds ahead of my PB. I'm like sub 33 pace right now, and I might not even finish the run yeah. because I could just die. Like it's a scary boss fight. Yeah, Mr. T Lexifice. <laughs> <laughs> Someone gifted him a sub. That's so funny. <laughs> Uh, I, I really thought he actually just like smelled the world record from a mile away and was like, I'm there. Popped in. <laughs> That's so funny. This is sort of like a waiting simulator in a way. I'm just kind of waiting for the dragon to get in position. Yeah. Nikolai also needs to be in position. Uh, that's one thing that some people might not know. He always shoots him from the same spot every time. Uh, which you can actually lose time to because Nikolai will just go on a wander. He will just walk around and not go to the right spot. Oh, interesting. Um, so are you getting him to the right spot by like pulling the zombies over to you and then he gets attracted to the zombies? I've sort of played around with doing that because I don't actually know how. Um, it might be random or you might be able to sort of like coerce him into a spot and I'm really trying to find out how to do that. Uh -huh. but, uh, yeah, it's I don't really know. So like for the first two, he needs to be in that spot. Yeah. And then for the third one, he needs to be on the right-hand side over here, which you'll see me lose quite a bit of time to because he's just on a wander somewhere. Yeah. Wait, yeah, where did he go? Wait, where did he go? Oh, there he is. Well, he stood over here and he used to be on the other side. I thought he was going to come over, see him walking over, and he just turns around. Yeah. Like, where are you going? Oh, that's so frustrating. You're literally just reliant on the AI right here. It's crazy. And this I is... think I lose about 10 seconds to this. Oh, you, dude, you... Oh, the sub-33 was... Are you going for the sub-33 now, or are you on to another map? I am playing a few things. Uh, been playing a little bit of ZNS. Uh, BO2 Origins I've been learning, because that's, that's been a lot nice. of fun. Nice. And then I sort of, like, go and test the waters of Shadows of Evil a bit every now and then, because... I still uh, want to get my my sub twenty on the. Eventually. Shadows is just oh, it's my favorite map to watch speedruns of. It's oh, it's so satisfying to watch. Everything about that speedrun is great. The the only thing yeah, I wish really is that the solo it was actually able to be finished and like completed solo. Yes. You can do it. I wish we just got rid of the last step. I thought the last, the last step is stupid. So just stupid. finish the step that the shadow man that, that'll be done yeah that's what i want I, I remember everyone was stuck on the last step for like a week i remember watching all the hunts yeah and then and then someone donated text strings to someone and then this that is, was how it was figured out oh, this yeah. is the scary part so if he miniguns me here i just die but luckily he just a raps attack and Which just stand still thing, so i can right? just i can just kill him it, it makes it so easy and that's it let's go Let's go, dude. So sick. It was so close. Wow. All right. Well, after wait, was this your first time holding GK's world record? No, I've had this record a few times. I, how many? One, two, three, four, f five times, I think. Well, I think hey, this is my fifth time. After seven thousand four hundred and ninety-five resets. <laughs> oh yeah, I put time in. Back again. Back again. Hopefully, Congratulations. Holy moly. Hopefully we see iMac hopping back on. Try and get it back. Uh, dude, I love that you guys are like actually homies and friends <laughs> because I 
Well, actually, I, you know what? I like to stir the pot so it would actually be hilarious if you guys were like mortal enemies and hated each other and oh, just yeah. kept beating no, each other. I've been lying. Yeah, I've been <laughs> lying the whole time. We hate each other at each other's throats. <laughs> Incredible. All right. Well, hey, man, congratulations, everyone. Once again, you guys know where to find them down below in the description. Thank you for hopping on and explaining that. That was that was amazing. Anything? La any last words you'd like to say? Uh, not a lot. Just... Thank you so much. Uh, hopefully we can do this again sometime. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, hey, yeah. next next world record. Maybe yeah, maybe some BO2 then. origins. Mayhaps. BO2 origins or maybe some SOE. We'll see. Oh, all right. All right. I'm pogging. We'll see you in the next one, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>